Barbados is known for its strong track record for quality of life, freedom and development. It makes the island a very attractive prospect as a location for a second home or even to live, work and raise families. Will the Barbados be your retirement destination? Hello everyone, this is Rona Blue and if you're new to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about how my girlfriend and I achieved financial independence and debt freedom three years back since paying off our mortgage. With my newfound freedom, I talk about how we made it happen, the types of passive income we have that anyone can implement, our thoughts of early retirement overseas, personal thoughts and general financial issues. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our weekly content full of information helping you get the financial independence yourself. Today's topic would be on the 8 best reasons to retire to the Barbados. Just as a disclaimer, the information provided is a general guide and to be used for educational purposes only. Now there may be many reasons someone might choose to relocate to the Barbados, a new job or career, a new spouse, the desire to learn a new language, or further your studies, or even retirement. Let's check out more points in detail coming now. Number 1. Culture in the Barbados Barbados is an island located just east of the Caribbean Sea, in the Western Atlantic Ocean. It had been under British rule for over three centuries, but gained its independence in 1966. There are more than 293,000 people that live on this island of 166 square miles or 430 square kilometers, with miles of sandy beaches with inland areas dotted by sugarcane plantations and tropical forests. When they first found the island, it was uninhabited when they landed in 1625, but archaeological findings have documented that there are habitation by Carib and Arawak native Indians. It was apparently colonized by the English early in the 17th century by just 80 settlers with 10 African slaves. A few years later, the Jewish fleeing persecution in Brazil arrived bringing knowledge of sugar farming. By 1650, Barbados was transformed by the plantation system and slavery was used to crop sugar and its fortunes were tied to sugar for 310 years. Barbadian culture emerged out of the plantation slavery economy distinct from the English and West African cultural traditions. About 80% of all Barbadians are the descendants of former African slaves. Barbados also has a high portion of citizens with a largely European ancestry. English is also the official language of Barbados and the vast majority of Barbadians are Christians. The food of Barbados comes from influences of Indian, African, European and Creole cuisines. The typical Barbadian meal comprises of a fish or meat dish cooked with herbs and spices, salads and hot side dishes. Barbados also has a rich heritage of oral literature that evolves around the storytelling tradition. Number 2. Places to live in the Barbados if you're looking for luxury living, Barbados is a good choice. The country has a large selection of properties in the high-end and ultra-high-end markets. However, Barbados also offers properties for more modest budgets as well. Barbados has been described as a big village. Bridgetown is the capital and the only area that looks like a city. Most people as well as most businesses are along the west coast, south coast and southeast coast. Barbados is one of the most beautiful nations in the entire world with its tropical paradise. It has incredible beaches, restaurants, tourist destinations and more. There are also some neighborhoods that are sought after than others. Let's take a look at some of them now. The West Coast. This area would be the most luxurious area to stay in on the whole island. Many call it the Platinum Coast, where many of the wealthy live. If money is not an object for you, this would be the area for you. It's a mixture of the beautiful beaches and mansions. There are also plenty of beautiful golf courses, tennis clubs and gated communities as well and several neighborhoods to live in. The South Coast. This area is more affordable than West Coast but still a nice area on the island. There are of course many beautiful beaches here in the airport and the property prices are lower. If you want to be near the airport being a traveler this might be a good place to be. East Coast. This area would be the most reasonable than both the South Coast and the West Coast. It's the farthest away from the central areas that have the larger shopping malls and other amenities, but it does have them, just smaller versions of them, and you can certainly get by. But being most affordable is the key point. Number 3. Food in the Barbados Rice and peas. This is a dish made with beans rather than the garden peas that its name brings to mind. It's usually served with jerk chicken, seasoned with salt, pepper, scotch bonnet peppers, onion and thyme. Pigtails. This would be the meaty part of the pig's tail, which is salted and barbecued. They could be eaten as they are or served with rice and peas. You'll find them all over the island, especially at street vendors and festivals. Things to do in the Barbados. Bridgetown. This would be the capital of Barbados and would be the island's largest city and the center of its business and culture. 
It has a population of over 110,000 people and a rich history. There's never a lack of activities and attractions to do in your retirement here. Snorkeling Cruises now this is a great way to spend your days. A ship departs from the docks in Bridgetown and includes snorkeling spots. You can go snorkeling at shipwreck wrecks as well as coral reefs where you can see schools of tropical fish. And if you're lucky, swim with sea turtles. Cheapside Street Market. This is one of the best fresh fruit markets in the entire Caribbean. It's an open market home to colorful, tempting fruit being sold by locals on Thursdays, Fridays, and the ever busy Saturdays. You'll see people cutting open coconuts and other kinds of fruits and vegetable specialties. It's full of the locals and tourists and is a great place to feel like part of the culture and day-to-day -day living. Number five, cost of living in Barbados. The cost of living depends on the location. If you want to be on a beach, you'll pay a premium, especially for accommodation. With some searching, you can actually find some good rental deals. There are also plenty of mid-range options in Barbados as well. An apartment one bedroom in city center would be $1,133 between $700 and $2,000 USD per month. An apartment one bedroom outside the city center would be $908 between $1,125 and $2,000 USD per month. An apartment three bedrooms in city center would be $800 between $600 and $3,500 USD per month. An apartment three bedrooms outside the city center would be $987 between $750 and $2,500 USD per month. Basic utilities for an apartment would be $103 between $50 and $225 USD per month. The internet would be $48 between $32 and $135 USD per month. Even on the budget end of the spectrum, food in Barbados isn't cheap. You can find some great deals at barbecues or street stands, but for the most part, you'll pay far more for food in Barbados than in places like North America and Western Europe. Even groceries are pricier here. Expect to pay upwards of 50% more for imported food compared to the US. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant would be $9 between $7.50 and $20 USD. A meal for two people at a mid-range restaurant for a three-course meal would be $62 between $60 and $80 USD. You can find alcohol for cheaper at grocery stores, but in restaurants, you'll find them to be at times triple the cost. Transportation is affordable in Barbados and has a good transportation system. $2 USD will get you around the city. Taxis are about the same as in North America. Now for entertainment, this varies across everyone, but for shows, tours, and other popular tourist activities, it very much varies. For shows, you could be spending between $60 and $80 USD. Diving costs around $75 USD per dive, including all equipment. There are sometimes discounts for multiple dives, however. Snorkeling could be $45 to $55, including a snack on a boat, a guide, and snorkel gear. Now Barbados has no gift, capital gains, or inheritance tax. However, there is a property transfer tax on inherited real estate. Corporations are taxed at a flat 25%. Expenses are deductible. But keep in mind that amounts do fluctuate and it's best to always keep up to date with any changes. People who retire in Barbados do find the cost of living to be somewhat higher than the US, Canada and the UK. Number six, buy property in Barbados. It's very hard to find a place to live in the Barbados because all of the islands have beautiful beaches and scenery. It's best to look at factors such as ease of access, infrastructure, expat community, healthcare system, and types of properties and other points to look at. The island's economy is still bouncing back from the global financial crisis of 2008, but for those interested in purchasing real estate, there is a range of properties for purchase including historic plantation homes to newly built luxury apartments and villas. The real estate prices in Barbados is actually less than in other Caribbean destinations that attract those looking to purchase an investment, retirement, or vacation home. There are no restrictions on buying real estate in Barbados by those who are not citizens or permanent residents. But non-residents do need to have the necessary funds from external sources. And these funds have to be registered with the Central Bank of Barbados. Some also rent out their properties for half a year as well. Barbados has a healthy tourism industry with year-round rental income potential for property owners. Tourists are primarily from United Kingdom, United States, Canada, and Latin America. Those who choose to rent out their property usually don't struggle for occupancy. But despite the global recession, the price of property in Barbados has generally remained stable. Prices have not fallen significantly, which means Barbados is an ideal island to invest in property. The recession was marked rather by a reduction in the number of sales, but the price of property did not dip by a significant amount, and the property market has since seen an upswing. 
But when purchasing real estate, the legal fees are approximately 2% of the purchase price. The seller is responsible for paying the transfer tax of 2.5% and a stamp duty of 1%. Property tax is based on the improved value of the property. The maximum annual property tax is 30,000 USD, but it does rise dependent on the price of the property between 0.1% for anything above $95,000 and 0.75% for any property above $650,000 as examples. For expats who are interested in renting out their home part of the year, rental income is taxed at 15%. For non-residents, there is a withholding tax of 25%. This is credited against the final tax liability. Also, while Barbados is not a tax haven, the island does have double taxation agreements with 34 countries, including Canada, the United States, and the United Kingdom. Non-residents are taxed only on income derived from Barbados. Capital gains, gift, and inheritance taxes are also not material in Barbados. Number seven, healthcare in the Barbados. Barbados has a high standard of healthcare. There are two major hospitals. The Queen Elizabeth, which is government run in the Bayview Hospital, which is privately owned and provides medical care in a wide variety of specialties. But the main hospital is Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Bridgetown. There are also 20 clinics scattered throughout the country and international health or travel insurance is recommended. Barbados is considered by many to have the most modern medical facilities in the Eastern Caribbean. If you need a doctor or dentist, then you just have to find one and visit them. It's good to ask around until you find medical practitioners that you trust. Barbados healthcare has been rated as 31 out of 151 countries in the world. Private health insurance for new residents is highly recommended. Treatment is not free and it's necessary to either have medical insurance or ensure that you have sufficient money with you when you go, as treatment will have to be paid for before you are dealt with. It's also important to be vaccinated against measles, mumps, tetanus, and others. Dengue fever is also wise to protect yourself with a mosquito propellant. Number eight, how to live in a Barbados. Now there's a lot of paperwork involved in moving to Barbados and it will take time and money to do so. In order to stay in Barbados, you'll need a visa. Temporary permits are available for visitors and last up to six months. If you wish to stay longer than this, then it will be necessary to obtain another visa and fill out an application with the immigration department. The fees payable for this ferry as there are single and multiple access visas available. And visitors coming to Barbados should provide proof of adequate means of support during their stay. In order to work in Barbados, you'll need a work permit. Work is usually reserved for native Barbadians unless there is no applicants with the necessary skills for the position. The average wait for a work permit is six to eight weeks, while study permits can take up to six weeks. A visitor permit takes an average of two weeks to be issued. For those over 60, as long as you show you have sufficient means, you can live in Barbados without being a charge on the nation and apply for immigrant status. After five years, you can apply for permanent resident status. Applications should be made to the immigration department. There's also a second option for seniors. Retired foreign property owners can apply for a special entry permit. This permit allows foreigners to visit the island often and stay for extended periods of time. There are no limits to the length of stay and permit holders can arrive and depart as they please. The retiree must own property in Barbados valued at $150,000 or higher and have health insurance. For those under 60, you can set up a business in Barbados creating jobs for the locals and will allow you to apply for immigrant status, whatever your age. If you own property as well in Barbados and can show you have sufficient means, provided you have health insurance, you can apply for a special entry permit. This will allow you to come and go and spend as long as you like on the island. There's also the high net worth individuals as well who don't own property that could apply for a special entry permit as well. It seems the asset amount would be 5 million plus and age does not matter but will need to be renewed once reaching 60. You can also get a work permit and tax benefits. Be aware that these points may often change and it's best to get the latest information directly off the Barbados government website. But as a bonus section, let's talk about some of the pros and cons for living in Barbados, starting with the pros. Now Barbados has a well-developed network of roads and highways and easy access to public transportation. There's also clean and safe drinking water and island-wide and good sanitation. There's also an airport with various airlines with high international standards. Barbados also has an active nightlife with plenty of pubs, clubs, rum shacks and restaurants in all of the major cities. There are fairs, parties, carnivals, market stalls, 
folk concerts, exhibitions, and more. But Barbados is a flatter country than its neighboring Caribbean countries, not having true hills or mountains, but it still has many attractive landscapes with many lovely beaches. It's a popular diver spot as well, with several types of reefs, corals, and abundant plant life. Barbados also has some of the most beautiful beaches of the Caribbean. You'll find beaches that are pink with rolling turquoise waves, so you can swim, sunbathe, or boogie board. Barbados is also located outside of the hurricane strike area and has a tropical monsoon climate. There's a wet season from June to November and a dry season from December to May. Barbados also has one of the most stable political environments in the Caribbean with a low inflation rate and steady economic growth. There's also an active expat community with the majority coming from the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom with a good number involved in banking and insurance. Now let's look at the cons of Barbados. First off, the island is densely populated. It's crowded, even overpopulated. It's a small island nation with a population of around 280,000 people, making it the 18th most densely populated country in the world, so if you like your personal space, it may get annoying. It could be expensive as well, and since it's an island, and since it's a densely populated as it is, a lot of its needs must be met by imports. So this increases the cost of products, but government taxes on certain imports make them even more expensive. You'll need to pick and choose things you buy. Jobs may also not be there. Many Caribbean nations have been going through a bit of an economic crisis, and finding work could be difficult for expats, especially a well-paying job that allows you to live comfortably. Many also feel that local are preferred by most employers, even over better qualified foreigners. And government regulations make it difficult to get visas and work permits too. Having said all of this, Barbados is a beautiful place to live with a vibrant, friendly culture and many expats are very happy making their homes there. It has its landscape with its beautiful beaches along the coastline, lush greenery in the countryside, long stable history, and its lively culture and customs that makes it perfect for living. It's important before moving, however, to do your homework and to decide whether Barbados or indeed any country is the right destination for you. While much of this is true of many of the countries and territories in the Caribbean and of Barbados too, the reality of any of these places is of course always more complex and there are factors that can make many people think twice. Well, tell me what you think of living in a Barbados in the comment section below. If you like this blog, please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell for more of my coming content here. Thank you for watching my vlog. Be free, gain wealth, and travel far.